Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is DB scan, that is density based spatial clustering with applications of noise. So the title looks big, uh, like we have seen in Birch. So it was balanced, iterative and reducing using clustering. So in this, we start with the bifurcation with the name, like we have the density based and so some kind of density based techniques are used and see, uh, we'll see what is density based technique. And then you have spatial clustering. In Birch, we had the hierarchical clustering, but in DB scan, we use the spatial clustering with applications of noise. Like uh, this technique or this version of DB scan is equipped with certain kind of uh, properties that it can remove outliers or noise from the particular data points. So uh, before we start with DB scan, let's have an understanding of what this density based technique or density based method is. So in this, uh, basically what is there, you have some kind of uh, regions or data points. And so this technique is basically used to separate those low density and high density data points. And so it is uh, mainly used to find arbitrary shaped clusters. And so it identifies these clusters with the help of some uh, thresholds or like uh, you have some terminating conditions and these are different and so uh, if different terminating conditions or different parameters are used then it becomes easy for you to handle the noise as well as the outliers and so it mainly finds in the data points of those distributed parameters or uh, the density parameters you can say so that's why it's uh, based on density based spatial clustering and so it finds certain kinds of density parameters from those uh, data points in the clustering and so we start with uh, defining the uh, basic two parameters like we have the shape of clusters that db scan would determine is arbitrary shape clusters and then you have the input parameters that you have epsilon so this epsilon is nothing but the maximum density reachable from the core point like you have the three things in this that you have the core point you have epsilon that is a distance from the core point to other all points border points and noise points and then you have the minimum points that you consider uh, with the clustering technique and so this density based clustering technique is made based on connected region with sufficiently high density and so in density based we uh, uh, saw that we have low density as well as high density and so db scan is primarily concentrated on regions with having sufficiently high connected density points and so density cluster you have in this that is a set of density connected data points having maximum value with respect to density reachability now in db scan you need to have understanding about two concepts that is density reachability and density connected so we'll see what are those two concepts and then you have data that is not density reachable to any point or to any cluster is considered as noise it's simple as that and so for any cluster for to start with db scan you need to have three points that is you have the core point that is any arbitrary point which you take from the data set you have the epsilon that is maximum distance from the core point and then you have the minimum points that you have at the initial ordering set and so these two concepts that is density reachable and density connected so these are explained here so let's have a look here so uh, these are uh, three clusters we can say and these are the points which are there dispersed outside and so uh, in this diagram you can see there are three points that is q m and p and so you can say that uh, m is a core point why because it is the center of these two clusters so it's like you can say that q is directly density reachable from m and m is directly density reachable from p why because m is a core point but you cannot say that q is directly density reachable from p why because q is not a core point and p is not a core point so that vice versa kind of things is not possible and so you can see the density reachability property that is there then you have the density connected and so you have these many clusters that you have six different clusters here uh, you have points o r and s and o you can see that it's in the middle of these two points that is s and r and o remains at the very center so it is the core point that becomes of this kind of uh, clusters and so you can see a chain so it's like that o is directly density reachable from s and o is directly density reachable from r why because o is a core point and so you can see that there is a chain of these clusters and so it's called as density connected all this density reachable but then too it's density connected why because you have two points in a aligned fashion in a uh, chain like fashion and so uh, with these concepts we move on to the algorithm like how we can apply density based clustering for our uh, clusters so it all starts with labeling all points as core points border points or noise points and then you have to delete those noise points at the very first step then after that is done select a point p arbitrarily any random point you have to choose from that 
then uh, you will be left with all the uh, core points as well as the border point core point would be one and border points would be many then retrieve all points that are directly density reachable from p with respect to uh, these points that is the input parameters that is a uh, maximum possible distance or density reachable distance from core point as well as the minimum points that you have the initial cluster set now if p is a core point then a cluster is formed only if p is a core point then only a cluster is formed else it will not be considered as a cluster and a border point is not a core point but it falls within the neighborhood of that core point like if m is a core point then you can say that p or q are just basically the border points which falls outside or within or somewhere around it and so if p is a border point uh, no points are density reachable from p and then visit the next possible point from the database and so it's simple if only p is a core point or if any other point which you take as a core point only then it is considered as a cluster else it's not considered as a cluster and also it has to be density reachable from other points continue this process until all the last points in the database have been traversed or processed so this is the algorithm of how the db scan works in the database so this is also is in machine learning for categorizing different kinds of data points next it has got one kind of limitation that uh, quadratic time is in the worst case like uh, the normal computational complexity of uh, this db scan is big o of n log n where n is the number of data points else if you increase the time or in the worst case scenario it goes to big o of n square so it's a quadratic time so that is a limitation that impose uh, with the help of db scan as a density based clustering technique so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video